Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of the new SAP Disclosure Management Starter Kit for US GAAP. The Disclosure Management Starter Kit for US GAAP is designed to secure and shorten time spent delivering financial reports to investors. It allows us to meet regulatory requirements to publish annual and quarterly reports in HTML, ASCII, and extensible business reporting language format. SAP Disclosure Management is the SAP solution for the last mile of finance. In order to prepare our quarterly financial reporting, we extract consolidated figures from the consolidation backend system and store them into a secure data repository available within SAP Disclosure Management. I open the consolidated data from the chapter Financial Statements of the Data Repository. As we can see in this Microsoft Excel sheet, a control dashboard indicates that there is currently no inconsistency in the data repository. Data in the repository has been organized for financial reports. Here we can see the rounding performed by the starter kit. All rounded values are highlighted in blue. We click the refresh button to update the data repository content from the consolidation system. The update is now completed. In the starter kit, all product best practices have been leveraged. The tagging of the financial statements and the notes has been performed using Microsoft Excel Range Areas naming convention in order to enable reports to properly identify data. We can control the tagging using the List button in the Microsoft Office ribbon. Save the data repository. Now, let's go to the design of the quarterly report. The report is organized in different sections, also called chapters. We're going to edit one chapter, for instance, the balance sheet. The assets and liabilities tables are composed of data dynamically loaded from the data repository. If the consolidated figures change in the source consolidation system, the update is fully automated and all financial documents within SAP Disclosure Management are refreshed. Here's the product interface used to populate financial reports from the data repository. By clicking the Format button, we can see the formatting row by row. For each row, we can associate a predefined style defined within SAP Disclosure Management. Here you can see all table format templates predefined in the US GAAP Starter Kit to help create and very easily format complex financial tables in your reports. This is the final validation dashboard to check that all data in your financial reports is consistent. We're going to generate a new version of the final quarterly report. SAP Disclosure Management merges all chapters of the final report. And here's the quarterly report generated with the starter kit. Here we see the rendering of the balance sheet chapter integrated into the final quarterly report.
Now, let's switch to regulatory reporting. Here's the XBRL file used to prepare the instance document of the 10Q report. And here are the links to all word notes written in the quarterly financial report and that we're going to tag for preparing a US SEC filing. By clicking the edit button, we open the tagging file and use Report Builder. That's the tool included in SAP Disclosure Management to map documents in XBRL. Report Builder loads the corporate extension of the 2012 US GAAP taxonomy. The Report Builder panel, displayed to the right of the screen, includes a taxonomy browser. So we can browse the mapping defined for each cell of the document, which is highlighted in green. Note the control columns in red. They help check data consistency against the calculation rules of the U.S. GAAP taxonomy. The first column is used to reverse the sign of data between the reports and the XBRL document. For instance, expenses may appear as negative values in the P&L report, while they should be published in absolute value in XBRL as the associated concept already contains debit balance information. The second column displays the roll-up signs for the calculation hierarchy. Here's the validation report for the XBRL instance document. There's no error in the tagging. This is the environment to tag text blocks in Microsoft Word documents. In order to tag the note, we select the text block and then associate both a taxonomy concept and a context for the period. Now that we have successfully tagged the numerical and narrative data of the quarterly report, we can generate the instance document for the U.S. SEC. Let's go to the design of the 10Q which is the regulatory report to be published in the U.S. SEC. The report is organized in different chapters. We're going to edit one chapter, for instance, the item one, which contains all financial statements and disclosures. Again, all data in the tables comes from the SAP Disclosure Management Data Repository and doesn't need to be manually updated. We're going to generate a new version of the 10Q form. SAP Disclosure Management merges all chapters of this report. And here's the new 10Q form. Now we can convert this Word document to the HTML ASCII format required by the US SEC. This process is called the Edgarization of Documents. And here's the final 10Q, which is compliant with the US SEC requirements.
Now that we have the XBRL instance document, the extended US GAAP taxonomy, and the 10Q primary documents, we can submit the quarterly filing to the EDGAR portal. SAP, run like never before.